From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Ten years ago today, if you experienced this event, you probably haven't forgotten. We had snow in and around the Midlands and South Carolina. Red Bank reported four and a half inches of snowfall. Gilbert over four inches. Summit about four inches as well. Pillion three inches. And even in Saluda and Lexington, measurable snowfall. There were also some power outages due to the snow. And at one point, I-20 was even closed in Lexington because of that heavy snow. Now, it doesn't last very long. It melted pretty quickly, and it was pretty cold that night as well as South Carolina did play Tennessee. Here's some video of the snow that fell early on that Saturday morning. And a rare treat to have snow, obviously, in November. It was the earliest and heaviest known snow event ever in South Carolina. Certainly nothing like that for us today. It's going to be very warm, well above our average of 71 degrees. The average low is 46. The hottest we've ever been in the month of November in Columbia was 90. The coldest was 12. Average rainfall, not a whole lot. It's been very dry, and typically we don't get a whole lot of rain in the month of November. And you notice our temperatures do drop, at least on average, to about 62 and 39 for the last day of November. As we do head into the first weekend of November, we do set your clocks back one hour. So we're setting our clocks back one hour. Sunrises and sunsets will be drastically different from Saturday to Sunday, obviously. Sunrise Sunday morning, 645, sunset at 528. So those sunsets will be about an hour earlier and sunrises little earlier as well. Still watching the tropics. Hurricane season officially does continue until November 30th. Still can have activity outside of the official dates, but watching this area near Jamaica, small chance for that to develop. Also watching this larger, broad area of low pressure, a medium or moderate chance for that to develop into something over the next seven days. 15 named storms, 10 hurricanes, four major hurricanes this year. It has been very busy. Pollen is still causing several of us, at least at the TV station, some problems and it's ragweed and grasses if you're having those seasonal allergy issues at this point. We did manage to make it to 83 degrees yesterday at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Officially only a trace of rain during the month of October. So that made it the driest, at least tied for the driest month ever on record. No records today. 89 is a record high, 29 is a record low. An inch and 15 hundredths record rainfall set in 2013. Partly cloudy skies as we move throughout your Friday into Friday night and into tomorrow as well. A front does approach the area late tomorrow. As that front does move through, we'll continue to have partly cloudy conditions. You'll notice our forecast model tries to paint in a stray shower, but we expect this to be a dry frontal passage. It will be a little bit cooler on Sunday and we'll keep things at least partly cloudy, maybe even mostly cloudy with more of a flow out of the north and east. So temperatures will be a little cooler for the second half of the weekend. Over the next seven days, according to the Weather Prediction Center, we may get a little bit of rainfall. I mean, just a little bit. Chances for rain do increase a touch next week. In particular, it looks like Wednesday and Thursday. We'll say the European forecast model tries to show some rain on Monday, but as of right now, we're keeping things dry. We do have at least a chance for rain on Wednesday and Thursday in our seven day forecast. So we'll keep our fingers crossed we can get some of that much needed rainfall because about 99% of South Carolina is abnormally dry at this point. Football forecast very warm for November, obviously. Kickoff temperatures in the low to middle 70s towards the end of the game, probably in the upper 60s. If you are heading to Williams Bryce Stadium tomorrow afternoon, warm tailgating weather as temperatures will be in the lower 80s. Kickoff temperature probably in the lower 70s or so under partly cloudy skies. A little bit of a breeze out of the northeast at about five miles per hour. Clemson returns home as well, playing Louisville 730. So both Clemson and South Carolina play at the same times. Mostly cloudy skies in the upstate with a little bit of a breeze out of the east northeast. Lake forecast over the weekend. We'll go upper 70s, low 80s on Saturday, mid to low 70s on Sunday. So not a bad lake forecast whatsoever. Again, don't forget to set your clocks back an hour before you go to bed Saturday night. Saturday afternoon, we're expecting highs in the low 80s, mid 70s. 
Sunday and Monday, and then we warm right back up into the low 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with that small chance of rain Thursday and even Wednesday. Beach forecast mid to upper 70s. We'll go low to mid 70s for the second half of the weekend. And here's the forecast for Myrtle Beach, about 77 Saturday, low 70s on Sunday. Charleston, low 80s Saturday, low 70s on Sunday, with maybe just that small chance for a stray shower on Sunday. Mid 70s in the upstate on Saturday, kind of cloudy skies today it looks like, and then mid 60s for the second half of your weekend. Warmer than normal conditions are expected November 8th through November 14th, and we're expecting at least a chance for wetter than normal conditions, slightly wetter than normal conditions for that same time frame. Election Day, obviously next week, four days away. Black Friday is four weeks from today, and Thanksgiving less than four weeks away. And as always, you can follow me on these social media outlets. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.